Hello, this is Nick Ritter here with another Cavalry tutorial. This time we're going to be talking about render tokens. This is one of those features that you don't know about it until you know about it. And so here's me telling you. Here I have a bell icon animation. I'll go ahead and play it for you. I created this using SVG shapes. I go over SVGs in another video. We'll open up our render manager. You can do that with Command B, Control B, or by going up to File and then Render Manager right here. Now, render tokens, this whole feature set takes place in this file name field right here. I'd want to call this bell icon because that's what my composition's called. And then I might want to call it today's date. So I'll go 20, 21, 02, 02. And the cool thing with these render tokens is that you can automate some of this stuff. So if you know that you want the name of your file to have the name of your composition in it, then you just replace the name of your composition with arrow brackets, composition, like this. It'll turn green. And that's how you know that it is indeed a render token. And then anything else that you type will appear as like static text. So after the composition name, I want an underscore, and then I want the year. And so if I look down here, and this is in the Cavalry docs. So down here, year is capital Y, capital Y. So then arrow bracket, a capital Y, arrow bracket. And then you can do the same thing with the month. and the day. And you can do lots of different things. You can add the frames per second if you want. You can add the resolution, a frame number. You can get really granular with your dates and your times down here and it gives you the whole syntax for how to do that. Uh, let's go ahead and add an abbreviated weekday name. So I'll underscore and then arrow bracket, percent sign, lowercase a, arrow bracket. It doesn't turn blue, which is a little strange, but up here it adds Tuesday, which is today's day of the week. And then you just click render queue and watch the animation render out. And now over here, see I did one as a test and then our new one has Tuesday on it. This now has today's date with Tuesday. So if you make a new render tomorrow, it'll automatically update to tomorrow's date. That's one of the great things with these procedural naming methods. I love it. The other thing you can do, which is really handy, is this dynamic index token. To take advantage of that, you have to set up a dynamic render. I will go ahead and create a quick color array, and then let's create a quick square, make that a little bit bigger, and then click and drag our color array over to our rectangle shape and set that as the fill color. So now when we open up our render manager, I'll trash this render and then add the current composition, which is this new one that I just created, Composition 3. This is uh, square underscore, and then create the dynamic token here. And then let's go ahead and add our frame number as well. The PNG sequence automatically adds a frame number at the very end, so it ends with a dot and then whatever the frame number is. But using this method, you can customize, like, oh, I want an underscore and then the frame number, because watch what happens when I delete this. It goes back to that period, but I can paste underscore frame and then it sets it up the way we want. So now I will go ahead and render this. And it cycles through all of our colors. So now here in our renders folder, we have frame zero and frame one for each of our colors. The benefit of doing it this way is if you don't set up the render token, so I'll just do square and then underscore frame. I'll click render, it cycles through all the colors. By default, Cavalry will save each dynamic render in its own folder. This can be really great for doing image sequences because then they're automatically organized for you, but not so great if you're just doing like an image or two or one video clip per dynamic render. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to watch more videos like this one. Thank you.